Hi everyone, this is Kanika. In this video, we are going to discuss the functions of operating system. And in our previous video, we have already covered that what is operating system, why there is a need for operating system, and we have also discussed the functions, but we have discussed that in brief. So in this video, we are going to discuss all those functions which were memory management, device management, file management, and processor management in detail. And we'll cover several other functions as well of operating system. So let's get started with functions of operating system. All right, so let's start with the first function, which is memory management. And as the term says that it is management of memory, but which memory, primary memory, or we can say that main memory. Primary memory is also referred to as main memory. So what is this primary memory? Primary memory, we can say that primary memory is large array of bytes wherein each byte has its own address so we can consider this thing as primary memory and why a program should be in primary memory or main memory why it should be in primary memory for a program to be executed it must reside in primary memory why because main memory or primary memory is directly accessible by cpu so a program to be executed program to be executed should be in main memory right for a program to be executed it should be in main memory and the reason is that main memory is directly accessible it is directly accessed by cpu so this was about main memory that what is main memory what is primary memory and why a program should be in main memory and what are the functions that os can perform let's discuss those functions okay so let's discuss functions of operating system in case of memory management we are talking in, in like sorry for the background noise there is some construction going outside here so please cooperate okay so functions of operating system first is that it keeps track of memory first function is that it keeps track of memory and which memory we are talking about primary memory so how does os keeps track of primary memory operating system tracks that which part of primary memory is in use by which process and which part is not in use so first function is that it keeps track of primary memory and it tracks which part is in use which part is in not in use and which part is in use by which process right second is in case of multi programming what is multi-programming? When two or more processes are running simultaneously. If two or more processes are running simultaneously, like in this case in multi-programming, so in multi-programming, operating system will decide that which process will get the memory, which process will get memory, how much memory will be allocated to the process, when will the process get memory. So, this is how OS tracks the memory in case of multi-programming. In case of multi-programming, OS will decide which process will get memory, when and how much. So till now we have discussed two functions of operating system in case of memory management. Let's revise quickly. So first one is it keeps track of primary memory, which part of memory is in use and which part is not in use. In case of multi-programming, when two or more processes are running together, then OS will decide which process will get the memory, when and how much, right? In third case, if a process requests a memory, OS will allocate memory to that process. And fourth point is, if a process is terminated, then OS will deallocate the memory. So these two points are very simple. So I hope you have understood all the four points. In case of allocation and deallocation, if a process requests operating system that I need memory, then OS will allocate the memory to that process. And if a process no longer needs that memory or if it has terminated then it will deallocate the memory right so these are the functions of operating system in case of memory management now let's move on to the second function of operating system which is processor management so the next function of operating system which we are discussing over here is processor management and what is processor here we are talking about cpu right so there is a term being used in processor management which is process scheduling and this is the thing which OS does. So in process scheduling, OS will decide which process will get the CPU for how much time and when will it get the CPU, right? So what is process scheduling? OS will decide 
which process will get cpu will get the processor we can say when will it get the processor when and for how much time so this is process scheduling so os does this thing but there are functions of operating system like we discussed in case of memory management which we are going to discuss so till now we have understood that operating system is responsible for process scheduling and let's discuss the functions that operating system will perform in case of processor management just like we discussed in case of memory management right so the first function functions of operating system in case of processor management we are talking about the first function is like in case of memory management os keeps track of primary memory here it keeps track of processor and the processor we are talking about that means cpu and status of processor so it keeps track of processor and status of processor and who is responsible for doing this thing traffic controller so traffic controller is the program which is responsible for doing this it keeps track of processor and status of processor right and second case if a process request operating system that i need processor so os will allocate the processor and if a program is terminated that os will deallocate the processor so these are the main functions which are performed by a operating system in case of processor management i hope you have understood till now now let's move on to the next function of operating system so the next function of operating system is device management see these functions are relatable to one another like in case of processor management we have traffic controller which keeps track of processor and here in case of device management we have input output controller input output controller keeps track of devices so we can say os keeps track of devices we can say that operating system keeps track of the devices and the program which is responsible for doing so is input output controller next thing in case of multi programming operating system will decide which process will get the device when and for how much time so this is the case similar to the memory management where os will decide that which part of memory should be allocated to which process when and for how much time same is the case here in case of multi programming operating system will decide which process will get the device when and for how much time next function is it allocates devices in an efficient manner so how does operating system allocates devices in an efficient manner to understand this let's take an example of printer we know that whenever process request for a device os will allocate that device to the process but in case of multi programming let's consider that there are two processes and both are requesting for the printer at the same time now in this case os will decide that which process should get the device when and for how much time so it allocates the devices in efficient manner and whenever the request for that device has been completed or the process has been terminated then it will deallocate the device so these are the functions of operating system in case of device management and one more important thing to note over here is that how does os manage its communication with the devices so os will manage communication with the devices via their respective drivers now let's move on to the next function of operating system which is file management so the next function of operating system is file management in case of file management what os will do is os will keep track it keeps track of information location status of file and these collective things we can say that it keeps track of file system because file system includes we can consider that this is a file system it can includes various directories directories we can refer to as folders and these directories can further contains files and directories and this file system can contain directories and files so we can say that os keeps track of file system because these collective functionalities together form file system right so next function is os will decide which process will get the resource and by the term resource here 
we mean in case of file management read or write access read and write access of file so os will decide which process will get the read and write access so in case of multi programming also os will decide which process will get the read or write access next is it allocates the resource that means it allocates read or write access to the file and if a program has been terminated then it will deallocate the resources so these are the functions of operating system in case of file management until now we have discussed four functions of operating system which are memory management file management processor management device management and apart from these four functions we have several other functions which os will perform first one is security os provides security and how does os provide security by preventing os prevents unauthorized access to the file thereby providing security so how does os provide security by preventing unauthorized access to file next function is job accounting what does this mean in case of operating system os keeps track of time and resources which are being allocated to users and various jobs so whatever time and resource has been allocated to various users and job that is being tracked by operating system in case of job accounting next is coordination between users and software how does os can provide coordination between users and software see os can provide coordination between users and software by assigning various softwares like compilers interpreters assemblers and various other softwares to users of system so by this way os can coordinate between users and software in an efficient manner so these are the functions which we have discussed till now so i hope you have understood the functions of operating system thanks for watching see you in the next video bye for now